So hey guys, this is Imanshu and a lot of you were asking me to make a video on how I got from here to here, from here to here. So I recently came back from Israel after attending a one month cybersecurity summer program at Tel Aviv University. So in this video, I'll be discussing about all the details of this program by Tel Aviv University, how you can attend this program and go to Israel. So if you're interested, please continue watching. Also, do consider watching my other videos on Israel series. You can just get their link from the description. I have put the playlist link. And yes, I've made a lot of vlogs on Israel, so you can just see them for getting the experience. And yeah, let's just start now. Well, why did I choose Tel Aviv University for this program? Well, if you go on the internet, you will see that Tel Aviv University is one of the top universities in Israel. And if I talk about the subject in which I went, so Israel is among the global readers when it comes to cybersecurity and of course Tel Aviv University has much more to offer in this subject than others. Also if you talk about the rankings Tel Aviv University is higher in rankings than even top IITs. Not all of them but yes it's higher in rankings than most of the IITs and other top colleges in India. Also my college had a tie up with Tel Aviv University so it was easier for me to know about the culture and systems there because a lot of seniors from our college were already there. So I was able to contact them and get information about all the things about Tel Aviv University and Israel. So it would be easy for me to adapt to the changes that I would be facing after going there. So that's why I chose this university. Now let's just go to the website. So just type Tel Aviv University Summer Program and you just have to click this link. So after clicking this link, you will be able to see all the summer programs that they offer this year. Although this thing is over right now, but you can just get knowledge for next year or for winter program if it happens. I'm not sure about the winter program, whether it will be happening or not. It can only be decided about by the university. So let's just wait. If any information comes on the winter program, so I'll update you or you can just check by yourself as well by just typing it on Google. So these were the programs that were offered by Tel Aviv University in 2022. So there was an advanced English program, advanced epidemiology program, business and entrepreneurship, cyber security with cyber week in which I went, excavations program and all these programs. So. So because of COVID, it wasn't sure whether these will be happening in offline or online mode, but thankfully these all happened in offline mode. So if I talk about my program, so let's just click on it. So I went on this program. So you can just see the program dates were from June 22nd to July 14th. So it was almost a three week program. It has two programs. You can just take either of them or you can just take both of them. It's completely your choice. So one is the basic technologies of cyber systems, which I took, which is a three credit course intended for students from non-technical fields who are interested in various components of the world of cyber. So this program is not just for technical students, everyone can join. So there were people from different branches like psychology also who were attending this program when I was there and it was a nice experience. If I talk about the program highlights, so there's a three credit or one credit course. And yes, there are various field trips and if I talk about this thing, Cyber Week Conference, it was one of the best experiences of my life. I got to meet to a lot of people. So there were people from around 80 plus countries and yes, there were people from even White House that who work under Joe Biden. So it was a very great experience for me. So it was my first international conference because of which I felt very good. And and you should definitely attend this if you're coming for this program. I'll be sharing videos on these conferences in form of vlogs soon. So make sure you subscribe to this channel. And of course, you can just check my other videos on Israel from the Israel playlist link that I have provided in the description and also in the I button maybe. And yes, this is it. Now let's just go to the curriculum. So you can just clearly see the curriculum that they have provided. Let me just show you this one. So yes, this is the curriculum. You can just see, I think almost half of it 
was on computer networks and and there were talks about cryptography and all other defense methods and attack methods now let's just go to application requirements so we can see that there is a minimum requirement of cgpa which is 8 cgpa or 3 out of 4 scale if you are a u student so 3 out of 4 gpa and and yes you have to fill an online application form of course select the program that you are interested application fee is 60 dollars and yes you have to get all the transcripts from your college or higher education institutions you need a one academic recommendation letter if you want to make if you want me to make a video on this how to get an academic recommendation letter do post your queries in the comments and i'll make a video for you of course you also need a short essay question about why you wish to study on this particular program basically it's like an sop or statement of purpose and yes if you are from a non-native english speaking country you need to provide proof of your english proficiency there are two two methods by which you can do it either you can just give ielts exam which i did and you can just you know submit the ielts trf or if you have done a course in your university or school that was completely taught in english you can just get a letter from your professor or teacher and just send them although i didn't do it by the way most of the people who came from this program from india did this only i was the only one who gave ielts exam but it depends on your program when i was applying for this program they said that it might happen that your pro uh, that your program coordinator might not approve this so i gave ielts exam and if you want me to make a video on ielts as well i can just make it i got 7.5 bands overall and let's just talk about costs and funding which is the main thing if i talk about the tuition so application fee is 60 dollars non-refundable let's talk about the tuition so yeah application fee is 60 for every course and you can just see there is a confirmation fee of 500 for each course and the tuition fee is this so the total tuition fee is this and the confirmation fee for example cyber security basic technologies of cyber systems this was my course so the total fee was 1700 plus 500 which is 2200 dollars and you can just see fees for other courses as well so yeah, you can just look by yourself of course it's quite expensive if i talk about housing so it's even more expensive <laughs> so these are the housing charges or hostel charges Einstein dorms which is a four seater room which with attached washroom and kitchen so the charges are $800 per month I have also made a video on Einstein dorms tour so you can just see for reference if you want the rooms are pretty nice there is a toilet and of course a kitchen so make sure that there are no dining halls or mess in Tel Aviv University so you have to make your own food so take proper amount of food because food is pretty expensive in Tel Aviv because it's one of the most expensive cities basically it's the most expensive city in the world so yeah keep that in mind you can just choose other rooms as well Brosham you can just see a video on Brosham domes by Ruholik she's also a youtuber from Tel Aviv University so she had made a beautiful video on Brosham domes too you can just refer that if you want to see how rooms in Brosham domes look like and if we go ahead so yeah that this was it also Tel Aviv universities also Tel Aviv University provides scholarships so this is very much so this is about the summer scholarships there are few criteria you should have a cumulative CGP or GPA of 8.5 or 3.5 out of 4 and of course you have to upload your transcript as well if you are visiting Israel for first time, coming from a Tel Aviv University partner institution and accepted to a summer program. So it is not necessary that you should qualify for all these points. Even if you are qualified for two or three points, you will be given a scholarship. So yes, minimum scholarship amount is 500 and maximum amount depends on your qualifications. And yes, that's it. 
I got a scholarship of thousand dollars from Tel Aviv University so it was quite helpful so this was about scholarship and yeah that's it now let me give you a few tips that I wrote let me just open the notepad only okay so I think we have talked about all these points if I talk about my experience this was one of the best periods of my life I won't say academically because course was not much technical and not much intense but the experience that I had had there with all the international friends of mine and all the professor and of course from the cyber conference and most importantly from Israel was way beyond I ever thought it would be so it was one of the nicest periods of my life this one month completely gave me a better feeling about who I am and I got to know that world has much more to offer rather than you know things that we normally think are necessary and we think they and the things that we care about normally so the world has much more to offer so yeah that's it you can just take contact details from their website and talk about the tips first of all of course try to get maximum funding because it's a quite expensive city and program so if you are coming from a college that has a tie up with Tel Aviv University try to get funding from them so one of my friend was from Bits Vilani Hyderabad campus although I don't think that Bits has a tie with Tel Aviv University but he was able to get around $1500 of funding from his department and yes Tel Aviv is the most expensive city in the world so yeah and yes of course it was a great experience for me overall and don't worry about the safety Israel is one of the most secure places you can be in the world I feel less safer after coming back to my home country but yes Israel is so safe that even you can just go out on streets on 2 or 3 a.m. and and you won't fear walking on the streets they have world's best defense systems and it is basically one of the most safest places on earth you can ever be and yes Israel in the and yes Israel is the best in safety and security to make your arrangements for food and laboratory so by food I mean you can just take if you're going there you can just take most of your snacks and things like rice if you know how to make food just take spices and just make your own food because things are quite expensive in that city and yes the airport security just keep this in mind don't take anything which you shouldn't take in your handbag or other things because by mistake when we were coming back so I put all my utensils in one of my friends bag who was coming with me so we were stopped by the security team because there was fork and kitchen knife in that so yes it just wasted a lot of our time and we were barely able to catch our flight so just keep this in mind also yes do post your comments and questions about, about everything in the comment section and I'd like to answer them all also I'm planning to make a video on different things if you want them you can just you know comment your questions and I'm also planning to do a live video we can you can just ask your questions about this university or my university so yes till then I'll see you just be safe and all the best thank you very much